Hey, welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So today we're diving into the world of classic cars and lasers using acrylic from Johnson Plastic Plus. Whether you're restoring a vintage ride or just wanna add a personal touch to your own vehicle, this is a very cool way to make money with your laser. So here's a little pro tip for you right off the bat. Whenever you've got acrylic stock that's too big for your laser bed that you need to cut down, you want to get yourself a 90 tooth blade for your skill saw. That way you get nice, smooth, and even cuts. So let's talk about the process of how I got this laser cut file made. Honestly, I'm not the best draftsman. So when it comes to making technical drawings, luckily the customer had the original part intact. So I sent it off to a friend of mine who's a mechanical engineer. And of course, this was an additional service that was added to the cost of the project. Here's a little fun fact for you epilogue users. If you notice, I only did one cut on this piece of acrylic because I have a front door that opens up. And even though the acrylic is hanging out, I do have a handy dandy set of these bypass keys to bypass the interlock so I can have objects hang out over my cut bed while I'm cutting. This comes in handy for oversized objects when you have an epilogue. Now, picking the right type of acrylic for your job is crucial. I like to use cast acrylic in all my laser engraving and cutting projects when I'm working with acrylic. The reason for this is, is that it cuts clean, it gets you that frosted white engraving look that you're looking for, and it's widely available in tons of different colors. Do not use extruded acrylic, unless of course you're just doing cutting. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I took some Johnson Plastic Plus acrylic and turned it into a replacement car part for this 1950s Mercury. Just think of all the different parts you can laser cut the next time you fire up your laser. So I'll see you around on Laser Engraving 911.